So we've been working on solving multiplication and division problems. Um, fact mastery is really important. Fact fluency is really important. Knowing your multiplication and division facts. But it takes a little while to learn them. So in the meantime, what can you do to really think about what's happening when you multiply and divide? Well, let's start off with multiplication. 6 times 8. What does that really mean? Well, you could have 6 groups of 8 or 8 groups of 6. That's what multiplication is all about. Let's do 8 groups of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. How many groups is that? 1, 2, 3, 4. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So I made eight groups of six, and I got 48. And I literally had to count every single tally. Now, it may help, instead of drawing everything, you can just do something like this. 6 times 8. 6. And then you add on your fingers. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And so on. And that's what the count by is all about. 36. 42. And 48. So the count bys change from tallies to numbers. Let's try this one. This time, you've been given a factor, and you're missing another factor, and you've got the product. 4 times something, 4 times certain amount of groups equals 32. Or 4 groups of something equals 32. So what I would think is, if I've got a group of 4, how many groups of 4 does it take to make 32? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And then I count how many groups I made of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the answer is 8. Um, I just divided 32 by 4, but I figured out what the missing factor was. So those are two strategies you can use, that basically just count bys. Let's take a look at division now. 24 divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 is really just saying my dividend, which is 24, divided into groups of 6. So how many groups of 6 does it take to make 24? One group of 6. Two groups of 6 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So if you use your fingers and count bys and then write down the numbers, you can see that 4 is the answer. 4 groups of 6. Let's try this one. 20 divided by blank equals 4. Again, 20 is your dividend, and you're dividing by an unknown divisor to find 4. Well, I can turn that around and say, how many groups of 4 go into 20? 4. Another group of 4 makes 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Another group of 4 makes 12. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if you just count by your fingers and then write down the numbers, you can figure out that 5 groups of 4 makes 20. So therefore, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Before you learn your facts, maybe count bys will help you with multiplication and division.